think it's time for us to dig in to our your top three tips for bringing computer science concepts into the classroom. So can you kick us off with number one? Absolutely, I can. The first one um, I think is the idea of debugging. Um, I've run across it in a lot of literature since since the time this happened to me, but actually as a face-to-face -face math instructor, I accidentally one day, you know, a student or a couple of students were working on a problem on the board and you could see they'd done it wrong. And I said, well, you know, I think we're on the track here. Let's, we're on the right track here. Let's see if we can debug this. And I didn't even really think about it. It was just, you know, years of being a programmer, that's just a, a common verb I have in my head. And one of them especially kind of looked at me like, you know, side-eyed, um, but we got to the point and, then, and moved on. But it made me recognize, and then I consciously started using it, this idea of looking at problems as something to be debugged rather than the strict wrong right. You know, it was most painfully aware in the math classroom. You got the wrong answer, done, All right? When of course we never want that, right? It's like, well, why did you get the wrong answer? And I think there's not just a liberating perspective there for a student, but um, I think there are some pragmatic avenues that open up with that perspective. Um, you know, being able to dissect a problem, that decomposition idea, break it down, well, it looks good up to here, it looks good up to here. Oh, you know, this is where it goes wrong. This is where we need to focus our efforts. I mean, that's important. 